Welcome everyone to another video. My name is Hagop, aka Hags, and today I'll be going through the full refurb cost of my property refurb. So we're going to go through it one by one, every little thing, and there was a lot of things. So stay tuned so you can get a good understanding of everything and how much everything costs as well. So you can go, when you go into your projects, understand this costs that much, that costs that much, and get a good understanding of it. So let's get straight into it with the first cost. And that was the full rewire. So not only the rewire, we also done new sockets in every single room as well. So in each room, in this bedroom, for example, there's three sockets. The other bedroom, another three, the lounge, another three, and then the kitchen, you've got about two. Including that, you've got the lights, of course. And then in the hallway, we've got the spotlights. And then to finish up, the fuse box at the end. That came to a total of three and a half thousand pounds. And to be honest, it's a very good price for how much that needed to be done. So moving on now to the heating. So this included all the radiators, so one in every single room. So two bedrooms, the lounge, kitchen, and bathroom. The pipe work throughout, as well as the boiler. This came to a total of £8,000. And I think, again, very reasonable price. Again, not the cheapest in the world. But there's a lot of pipe work, and of course, the radiators alone do cost a fair bit. So now moving on to the flooring. This includes the carpet in the one bedroom, carpet in the other bedroom, the walkway as you enter the property, the wood laminate flooring, flowing all the way through to the lounge area of the wood laminate flooring, the tiles on the floor in the kitchen and bathroom. This came to a total of £5,000, including fitting as well. I think again, very reasonable price, very good flooring, done it within a day as well, so it was very perfect. And just to mention that £5,000 also including leveling off the kitchen as the flooring wasn't so level, we had to level that as well. So including all that, I think it was a very reasonable price. Moving on to the kitchen. This cost around £3,000. I can't give you the exact price, unfortunately, but it ranges from around three to three and a half thousand pounds. That's also including the fitting, as well as the extractor fan, the hob, the oven, the sink, you name it, everything was included. So again, shop out there, you can get a very good price for a kitchen. Now moving on to the bathroom, so you've got a three-piece set, the toilet, the sink, and the bath for around 600 pounds. Then we've got the tiles as well, including all the fitting of the bathroom units, etc. that came to around 2,000 pounds. Now going on to the brickwork in the property, and what I mean by that is going back to brick. Initially, we didn't want to do that, so we just had to do that in every single room. Went all the way back to brick. The full plastering, the painting, all of that, remembering we had to do that on every single wall, that came to a total of 6,000 pounds. And I forgot to mention in the bathroom, we also had to move the pipe for the toilet, which went from one end of the toilet all the way to the other, basically. And that was somewhat of a hard job, so it cost another 600, 700 pounds to do that. I know it's a fair bit, but look at the layout now and look how nice it looks. So now moving on to the render of the full property. I've never done a full render of a property before. I've done the back of it where we had to take a conservatory down at one point, but this was the full property. And through every single wall, the side, the back, the front, of course, remembering this is a bungalow, it's not a two-story property, that added up to around £1,500 for all that to be done. But then also the paintwork I'd done myself on the outside of the property, which obviously helps as well. So now moving on to one of the most expensive costs in this property, that was the windows. So as you know, every single window needed replacing. This window, the other bedroom window, the lounge, all the two in the kitchen and the bathroom. There were quite large windows as well, so we did rack up quite a bit, and that came to a total of around six to seven thousand pounds. So now moving on to the final thing, believe it or not, we're now moving on to the final thing of the refurb, and that was the additional insulation in the loft, and also above the bay window in the first bedroom. If you remember, I said we had some problems up there, we had to move everything and then start doing wood panels throughout the top part. That added up to around £1,500 for all that to be done. In the beginning, I didn't want to add those, but sort of, these are the sort of things that do pop up as you go. 
So really the total, including 20% on top of that, because you have the VAT, that comes to a total of around 45,000 pounds. And yes, you may think that is a lot of money. But to remember, my builder done that in two months. Not only that, look at the standard he's done it to. And of course you have to remember, when you purchase a property, you're getting it for a very discounted price anyway. So everything is relative to itself. If there's more refurb that needs doing, then of course the price of the property will be lowered. So it's all relative to each other. So there we have it. That's my full refurb figures of my property bungalow. Took two months. If you've seen the before and after, you'll see the quality we went through to make sure everything was immaculate standard. And of course, as you know, the driveway I've done myself, as well as the garden, so really not really including any costs with that. So there are ways to also save money. But there we have it. I've been Haggle, aka Hats. Don't forget the name. And I'll catch you in another video.